Hello all. In this video, we shall see how to fuse the hex file onto the PIC chip using PICI2 Lite hardware. The speciality of this PICI2 Lite hardware is that from within the MPLAB IDE itself, you can program the hex file, and there is no need of uh, standalone PICI2 software. This PICI2 Lite hardware uses a 18F2550 IC. This IC is loaded with uh, firmware and bootloader. This 18F2550 IC has got an inbuilt USB interface. So there is no need of an external uh, USB UART circuit. This hardware is an ICSP in circuit serial programmer and it is powered by USB itself and no need of external uh, power supply. This ICSP is converted to 40 pin ZIF socket connections so that you can place the target IC onto the ZIF socket easily. On the bottom board you can see three LEDs. These correspond to the power active and status LEDs of the original picket to hardware. When you connect the USB cable, this uh, red LED will glow, indicating the power status. And the next yellow LED is the active LED. Whenever PICI2 is uh, active, this uh, yellow LED will glow. And the third green LED is the status LED. Whenever PICI2 is accessed, the status LED will blink. And when any problem is there, the status LED will start blinking continuously. On the top board there is also a switch for selecting 40 pin uh, ICs as well as 14 or 18 pin ICs. Now connect the USB cable to the PICI2 hardware. Red LED will glow. Now place the target IC onto the ZIF socket. Take care that pin 1 is matching the handle. Also ensure that the switch is in 40 pin position. Now fire up the MPLAB IDE and open the project. Click on build to build the hex file. Build is successful, the hex file is automatically created. Now under programmer, select programmer, you select the pick it to. Now this MPLAB software says it has found pick it to and the target is powered from the pick it to itself. And it has also found an IC pick 16 f 877A on the PICI2 hardware. The speciality of this uh, PICI2 Lite hardware is that you can program the hex file directly from within the MPLAB IDE. There is no need of PICI2 standalone software. Now from within the MPLAB IDE, you click on Programmer, Program. Now you can see programming is done successfully. When program is done successfully, this yellow LED will glow permanently. Now again we will do. We connect the USB power cable. Red LED will glow. From within the MPLAB IDE, click on programmer and select programmer. If uh, PIC2 is selected already, you can just check it by clicking on connect. Now you can erase the chip by clicking on erase under programmer. Now you can again load the program. Load the program again. Now 
now the program is done if any problem is there this uh, green LED will start glowing continuously suppose you select the switch to 28 pin now you can see the green LED starts blinking continuously that means Spiky 2 is not ready instead of using the target IC onto the picket to light you can use it on the demo board and connecting the ICSP connectors using jumper wires you can place the target IC onto the demo board and these are the ICSP connections you have to do between the picket to light and the demo board on picket 2 you can see 6 pins first one is the VPP that VPP goes to MCLR here the third pin is the MCLR VPP goes to MCLR that is a programming voltage 12 volt is applied to MCLR pin while doing programming and next one is the VDD VDD goes to plus 5 volt of the target board that is the target supply next one is the ground and the fourth one is the data DAT that goes to PGD pin of the demo board the other next pin is the CLK that goes to the PGC that is a clock pin the next pin is aux pin that is not used in our uh, programming now that is actually used in LVP low voltage programming uh, is some of the PIC chips support LVP in that condition its aux pin is used connect the USB to pick it to and you have to supply external uh, you have to supply a DC sub uh, external voltage to the demo board I'm using a 12 volt DC adapter now you can uh, program as well as erase debug you can do everything with the demo board itself you need not uh, remove the IC from the picky to and place it again and again now open up the MP lab open up the MP lab and open the project now if you select the uh, programmer as pick it to it will detect the uh, pick it to and also the target IC now you can click on program to program the chip programming is done in on the demo board itself and if you want you can uh, debug the code in the MPLAB ID again you can erase and then again you can program this is very handy while programming thank you for watching